hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's ttbj and i'm back with another video if you're new here thank you so much for coming by and if you're a returning subscriber welcome back in today's video i'm going to show you guys how i installed this lovely highlighted wig this wig is 24 inches from world new hair density is 180 and it is literally amazing if you don't know how to dye hair i feel like wigs like this is literally perfect it already comes dyed and it's just so amazing so affordable as well and yeah so today i'm gonna start off by doing this popular bold cap method that everyone has been doing that i've been seeing on twitter and i thought you know let me try this and guys i've just been literally laughing at myself because this is just so funny it just looks so funny on me but at the same time this method is actually really good trust the process everyone was just basically laughing i'm thinking this is you guys don't know anything like this is the key for your wigs to be looking a1 and slayed laid everything so therefore like it's actually a good technique especially if you've got a small head like my head is really small and when i do the normal one yeah i have to go all the way down and i can't see so it's good at least the holes will make me be able to see what i'm doing so therefore this technique is actually a good technique and yeah i'm happy this came out because i was thinking as well like how am i meant to go and do the thing when i can't see guys thank god for social media sometimes but anyways this is just going to be the same old after the holes it's just the same old um bold cap method cut the lace and put some foundation to, for it to match your skin then after that i will apply the wig and i'll show you guys how i do that oh my god <laughs> i didn't even see that oh my god the fl i hate flies so much guys i hate flies this day was so hot this was definitely the day that it was 40 degrees like i'm not even joking i don't care if it said 30 degrees it was definitely 40 degrees but yeah as you can see i didn't wait for it to dry because i was just so tired and the sun was just making me oh, some type of feel some type of way but yeah it's gone now so yeah make sure when you do this let it dry don't be like me So now I'm going to use a melting spray from the wig dealer on Instagram and I'm just using that to just apply it on the lace and this will just help it help the lace to stick down properly and so it looks also looks much better it actually looks like it's melting into my skin especially when you use a elastic band on top of it as you can see it looks so amazing and now it's proper easy for me to cut the lace and after that i'm just going to use foundation to make to match my skin and yeah that's basically it
now it's time for me to lay these edges and this is something different this is something that i haven't done on my youtube channel and it's actually really really good so basically i'm just parting the hair that i actually want to use for the edges and cutting them down and then i start to like lay lay my edges it's so much easier than just cutting the whole ends like this is so much easier and yeah i'm just applying for some foundation again for it to match my skin I'm gonna do the same on the other side as well and yeah I'm gonna do the same on the other side as well and when I finish I'm gonna use my elastic band again just to apply it on top so it's literally just a flat when I cut the edges Now I'm gonna start off by doing my makeup and I'm really excited for this. However, I was so, so hot. But I'm gonna start off by doing my eyebrows and I'm using the Morphe eyebrow gel just to apply with my eyebrows. This helps for it to stay in place, especially when it's hot like this. Um, I love to let it dry and then apply and then apply my anastasia beverly hills dip brow in the color chocolate i think i will list down all the products in the description box below but i'm just applying this i love to use this actually um sometimes i use an eyebrow pencil or lip pencil whatever it is sometimes i actually use this i feel like this is the best product i've used for my eyebrows um, I don't use too much so I kind of go lightly through my eyebrows because I don't like it to be too harsh. So before I apply my eyeshadow, I'm going to use my P. Louise, um, bra, no, oh, what's it called again? Oh god. <laughs> oh my god, I'm blank. I'm so sorry, guys. My P. Louise base, eyeshadow base, and, um, I'm just using my foundation brush, because I couldn't find other brush, but I'm using my foundation brush just to press it down and blend it in. I'm using the Colourpop, Colourpop, um, eyeshadow palette 
um i'm using a darker color first i'm using like a dark purple color first i want to go for something like nude pinkish you know color and yeah for it to match my hair a bit i don't want to go too i don't want to add too many colors So now I'm using the Too Faced um, concealer in the colour Chestnut and yeah I really love this concealer. This is literally, this whole look is not like a going, going, going out look. The products that I would use if I'm actually going out um, but I will definitely make a video on that because those products are literally my favourite. Whenever I put those products on, literally, my makeup is just so so nice like, i'm not even exaggerating but those products i'm definitely going to do a video of my favorite like going out products soon 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 so subscribe so you can see that um yeah i'm using the tarte concealer on top of it just for it to like stand out a little bit because i love my under eyes to be a bit brighter but not too bright because i always use translucent powders i just use the huda beauty one and um in a lighter color i didn't get the kufuna or something i got something lighter than that but i'll put that on everything in the description box below and yeah now i'm just applying some highlighter from fenty beauty i think it's called diamond bomb but some people said it's called how many carrots but yeah it's either way it's amazing i really love it and now as you can see i'm just gonna add some more edges so i use the mousse you can use any mousse to um do my edges and um yeah just after i set it down with the silk scarf i just go over it with the brush again just to make it more fluffy and yeah it looks really nice after you set it lastly i'm gonna do my lips and i'm using the nyx butter glass and i'm using the morphe lip color i'll put it down below normally i use quite a lot of lip glosses because i feel like especially when you're going out the more glosses you use the longer it lasts so yeah my hair i've curled it it looks amazing this is exactly how i wanted it to look like i also added some layers so it just looks more lush if you want to see how i achieve these kind of curls um i've got a video on that but i'll do another one i'll do an updated one don't worry make sure you subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye